Recording all this? Is that okay? Of course. Well, that's what's the point of my telling you if I'm not recording. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. President called me in that morning, Tuesday, October 16. He told me that to his astonishment and anger, Khrushchev lied about what he was doing in Cuba. Shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union. A crisis occurs. What is the first thing that goes through your head? Number one, pick the right team to advise you. Tactical weapons came our way. We would have responded with tactical nukes. But once both countries are on that nuclear ladder of escalation, they keep going up the ladder. What would they challenge your patriotism? You're virtually the fellow that saved the world with that letter to Khrushchev. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. I hope some people realize that. When Kennedy took office, he learned that he had inherited a plan to throw out Castro to a landing site called the Bay of Pigs. Well, Kennedy kicked himself afterwards for believing all he had been told. Because he knew I looked at the world and the country the way he did. And I thought through his mind and his saw through his eyes. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal. When Kennedy and Johnson put through a comprehensive civil rights program, they both agreed that that was the end of the Democratic Party in the South and maybe the end of the Democratic Party winning presidential elections. Your fondest memories? I was writing my first book, Kennedy, on Cape, in a home I had rented on Cape Cod. She was uh, still living in the family home. I would drop over and see her and the children once in a while, not often, I didn't want to intrude. She called me one day, and it was her birthday, and she had nobody. I know that the song Camelot about mythical King Arthur is the song and the myth that was applied, but we weren't a mythical group. We were just ordinary flesh and blood uh, human beings, but it was a very special time because we had a very special leader. Uh -huh.